4.2D, Probability and Plotting Points. Plot Points. To plot a point, start at the origin, just as we did when we were finding the coordinate points. And we will be moving right, then up. If we have a negative, we will then be moving left, and down. The thing to keep in mind is knowing your directions on the axis. When we have an axis, such as the one drawn here, we must determine which way is positive and which way is negative. Remember, a positive x is in the right direction. So if we're moving right, that would mean that we have a positive x value. If we were moving left, that would mean we have a negative x value. If we move up, it means we have a positive y value. If we move down, that means we have a negative y value. We are now going to plot these points. We will start with point A. Point A has a positive x value. Remember, in the parentheses, it goes x comma y. You can remember this because it's alphabetical. This means point A has a positive 2 value for x. If we start at the origin and we move 2 in the positive x direction, we will be right here. Next, we need to move down or negative 4 in the y direction. Remember, down is negative and up is positive. When we get to this point, we can now draw our dot or plot the point. It is not necessary to draw all of the loops on your graph. The only final necessary point is drawing the point and labeling it as point A. You may also label a point with its coordinate point or 2, negative 4. Next, we will plot point B. We will be moving negative 3 in the B for B. Negative 3 is an x value, so we move to the left. We then move down 1 for the y value. We plot the point and label it B, remembering that the counting spaces are not part of the graph. Next, we will plot C. C has 0 for the x value. 0 for the x value means that you do not move from the origin in the x direction. 2 for the y means we will go up or in the positive y direction two places. Once we are there, we draw our point and label it C, remembering that the counting spaces are not part of the graph. Lastly, we have D. D tells us to go negative 3 in the x direction. We then must go positive 4 in the y direction. Once we are there, we draw the dot and label the point. Remembering that once the point is labeled, you do not need the counting. We have now labeled the four points on this graph. In example two, we have three more points to plot. We will start with point E. This time, I will not be drawing the counting, but merely moving the mouse. We always start at the origin, and on this one, we have that it is a negative one or a positive 1. We go positive 1 in the x direction. We then see that the y value is 2, meaning we need to go up or in the positive y direction two places. We draw our dot and label it E. Point F, we once again start at the origin, and we will be moving 
negative 1 or 1 in the x direction. And then as you can see, the y is 0. When y is 0, it means we neither move up nor down, and the point lies on the x-axis. Once again, we label our point as f. Now for finding g, as you can tell it is 0, 0. 0, 0 means that it lies on both the x and the y-axis, or it moves in no direction from the origin. We plot the point and label it g. When plotting points, it is important to remember which direction gives you positive values and which direction gives you negative values. It is also important to label your points.